Froth is nature's primary mechanism to dissolve gases from the atmosphere into water. What enables transfer is surface area, contact time between the liquid and the gas, and mixing. Rapid churning, millions of fine bubbles and micro droplets combine to effectively transfer gases into oceans and rivers. Industrial Climate Solutions and our international team have harnessed the principles behind Mother Nature's biggest carbon dioxide capture project for a transformative industrial gas to liquid transfer technology. The regenerative froth contactor platform extends beyond the capture of carbon dioxide or CO2 into many other uses. In this presentation, we will introduce industrial climate solutions and highlight why the RFC represents a breakthrough in gas scrubbing and other multi-phase industrial processes. ICS aims to have maximum impact on development, commercialization and supply of equipment and technologies to address the challenge of industrial greenhouse gas emissions. We've identified means to address technical and commercial barriers that threaten to slow the uptake of CO2 capture, utilization and storage. These barriers impact both capital and operating costs, as well as technical challenges that prevent the uptake of promising next generation chemical processes. As we advance down this path, we fully expect to identify secondary applications, some of which may gain commercial importance before those directed at greenhouse gas mitigation. To penetrate these markets, it is our intention to work with strategic channel partners with deep technical and commercial understanding of these sectors and the ability to service their clients effectively. The transformation of the world economy to limit climate change to a global average of 2 degrees Celsius temperature rise will require capture of carbon dioxide from concentrated emission sources. It has been projected by the International Energy Agency that carbon dioxide capture will account for about 140 billion tons of CO2 in the next 40 years. Half of this will be captured from industrial sources other than power generation. The carbon dioxide capture market is expected to grow at a rate of over 15% per year over the next five years. It will have to grow much faster if it is to accomplish this goal. In a CO2 capture facility, the largest physical piece of equipment is the gas to liquid contactor or absorber. This can account for up to one third of the capital cost of a capture plant. The RFC technology can reduce the size of the absorber by as much as five times. That means the cross-sectional area and column height may be reduced by half or more. In addition to its compact size, the RFC is self-cleaning, tolerating high levels of entrained solids or even the formation of solids in place called precipitate without fouling. In conventional absorbers, foaming can be a problem while the RFC is not affected. And finally, even with very high liquid flow rates, the RFC will not flood. To accomplish this, the RFC uses an unconventional downward co-flow configuration. That means that both the gas and the liquid enter at the top of the absorber and flow downward. A series of sharply corrugated woven screens alternately hold and release liquid in bursts. This results in unstable pulsing flow with plugs of froth propagating down the column. Here, you can see a plug or pulse forming up at the top of the column. With a gas continuous zone and another pulse just below the midpoint, it's important to note that the gas velocity is much higher than the rate of propagation of the froth plug. Any volume of gas must therefore pass through multiple froth bands on its way down the column. Unlike in conventional tray structured or random packing approaches, the contact area between gas and liquid is formed of millions of fine bubble walls. These are continuously collapsing into micro droplets and transforming into new bubbles. This extreme mixing ensures constant supply of fresh solvent at the gas interface. The pulsing turbulence prevents deposition of solids which can create fouling in other absorbers. While the RFC was developed with solvent-based CO2 capture in mind, 
Other greenhouse gas related applications include wet chemistry CO2 conversion like mineralization processes. Biological conversion, such as using algae, takes advantage of the non-fouling aspect of this contactor, while the screen structures can be adapted for more or less fragile species. The benefits of the RFC extend well beyond CO2 capture, or even just flue gas scrubbing. ICS is actively pursuing applications relating to multi-phase chemical synthesis processes and industrial gas separation. The RFC is based on an earlier technology that was proven for filtration of indoor air intake in extremely hostile environments, including high particulate loading, weaponized viruses, and nerve agents. Recent developments in the RFC promise to extend this capability to other submicron particulate removal and indoor air purification, such as emergency response, forest fire, and similar applications. The RFC works effectively with next-generation precipitating solvents without fouling. The shear forces, which depend on the screen configuration, result in a narrow, fine particle size distribution for a well-behaved slurry, simplifying downstream processing. This characteristic of the RFC may lead to new precipitate formation mechanisms in other chemical synthesis processes. ICS continues to explore other application areas, seeking joint development agreements with prospective channel partners. Some include odor control, bacterial processing of flue gas, natural gas sweetening, treatment of caustic mine tailings, red mud or other wastewater using flue gas as a neutralizing agent, and other applications. ICS is actively seeking strategic partners for joint development of applications and as channel partners. Work with us to incorporate the unique benefits of the regenerative froth contactor into your next generation industrial solutions. For more information on industrial climate solutions and the regenerative froth contactor, visit our website or reach out to us directly at info at iccolutions.org.